Hello, I'm Laura Guerrero, and I'm here today to talk with Brian Garrett, the Vice President of ESG Lab. Brian attended the 2013 Microsoft Management Summit and is here to give us an eyewitness account of the Serverquarium, the private cloud solution that Microsoft and HP had on site for running the hands-on labs throughout the entire event. Brian, thanks for joining me today. My pleasure. There's been a lot of discussion about cloud computing recently, but I have to wonder if customers really understand what they can achieve with it. Well, I think many people have a general idea about the economic and flexibility benefits, but the details are fuzzy. Most don't have a way to gauge the basics, like what kind of virtualized workloads a server can handle, or even how many VMs can run at the same time. That was what's so great about MMS, that attendees could actually see and use the cloud in the flesh, complete with real-time stats on its accomplishments. And what about building a cloud? It has to be difficult to pull all the pieces together yourself. Yeah, it is. That's why integrated computing platforms are popular. If the components are pre-assembled and integrated, the whole job is simpler and faster. As a matter of fact, respondents to a recent ESJ survey about integrated computing noted numerous benefits, in particular ease of management, faster deployment time, and lower total cost of ownership. This year at MMS, there were 650 hands-on lab workstations, and attendees could just log into the web portal and choose one. From there, the server aquarium would spin up whatever resources were needed for that lab. It was built to handle the toughest situations, like all 650 users wanting the same lab, or all them wanting a different one. Both of these scenarios could be a big resource drain. Wow, so what kinds of workloads were needed for each lab? The resources varied, but they were all tier one workloads. For example, this server manager lab was created with eight virtual machines, 20 gigabyte of RAM, 32 virtual processors, 190 gigabytes of storage, and two virtual networks. With 100 of these running in at the same time, that's a hefty load. Also, every lab ran in its own isolated Active Directory domain. So all the hands-on and instructor-led labs ran on this Microsoft and HP cloud platform. Can you tell us a little more about it? Sure, it was a really cool collaboration. It deserved the theater-style velvet ropes around it because it really was another amazing Vegas attraction. First, it only took two server racks and two storage racks, compared with 32 server racks for more than 500 physical servers just a few years ago. And it all pumped out almost 49,000 virtual machines in four and a half days. At a high level, the solution was based on the HP Virtual System VS3 for Microsoft. It's a turnkey cloud solution that's Microsoft Fast Track compliant. All the components were redundant for high availability, and it's something any customer can buy today. The BS3 included two HP blade system chassis with 16 blades each in a Hyper-V cluster. Each blade had an HP IO accelerator car for the high-speed data transfer, which really helped with a quick changeover between lab sessions. The two yellow racks on the right are the HP 3-part store serve, which provided a fiber channel SAN with automated tiering using HP adaptive optimization. Adaptive optimization also helped the system to keep up with the unpredictable and dynamic workloads of the cloud environment. An HP Virtual Connect to the Flex Fabric was built into each server and created the network environment and kept the cable and adapter count very low. One of the coolest features of this cloud was that all the server, network, and storage management was integrated with Microsoft System Center. So everything was managed from a single console. This topology map from System Center shows all the components from the blade chassis down to the individual fans, power supplies, and network interconnects. Automation was essential. Only with automated management could each workstation be reset between sessions in just a matter of minutes. And was the storage also managed through System Center? Yeah, using HP management packs and the SMIS providers, these enabled System Center Virtual Machine Manager to automatically identify and allocate HP 3 part store serve lungs and create a class of storage and provision the cloud. During the four and a half days, this private cloud served up almost 49,000 virtual machines to run more than 15,000 labs, and it never broke a sweat. In fact, the average CPU utilization was only about 20%, and the peak was only 30%. In addition, it was capable of generating up to 8 million IOPS, and disk queues remained consistently at only one. So this tells you that there was plenty of performance to spare. That's very exciting stuff. Let's take this out of the MMS context and talk about it as customers. As we like to say here at ESG, why does this matter to the customer's business? Well, a couple things are important here. First, well, this is a great showcase. It's actually a real solution that customers can have today. And by that, I don't mean after months of planning, purchasing, deploying, and integrating piece parts. It's an integrated platform. So Microsoft and HP have done the hard work for you. Second, this private cloud gives you the opportunity to improve IT service delivery, business agility, and scalability while reducing your costs. And third, 
This implementation shows that it performs with enterprise class workloads and it was flawless. It delivered high performance, high availability, and automation that enabled the labs to change over quickly without a glitch, and efficiency in terms of both the infrastructure and the low administrative resources required to keep this thing running. It almost sounds like magic. <laughs> You're right. You're right, Laura, it does. But it's really the result of a long-term partnership between two industry giants. Microsoft and HP offer a solution that bridges the gap between the vision of cloud computing and the reality. And the server aquarium was a great way to show that off. When you see a four rack infrastructure running 3,500 VMs at a time and turning over tier one workloads in minutes, you feel pretty good about its ability to handle your business. This has been very informative. Thank you again for your time, Brian. If you'd like to learn more, you can download the full ESG Lab report from the Microsoft and HP websites.